Ohio State's offense is about to get even more dangerous. What's up, everybody? Hope you're having a super blessed day. And Ohio State currently has the fourth best recruiting class in the class of 2023, and they have picked up some offensive weapons. Ohio State already has one of the best offenses in the entire country. These guys are going to make them even better. So be sure to leave this video a like and also hit that subscribe button if you want Ohio State to win the national championship this year. Also, comment down below who is your guys' favorite offensive pickup of the guys that we're about to cover. With that being said, let's get straight into it. Three, two, one. Starting it off, Ohio State added a little bit of depth to their quarterback room, picking up four-star quarterback and the 20th best quarterback in the class 2023 in Brock Glenn. This guy... Overall, he's very, very solid. I've, I've already made a video covering his highlight tape before. I don't see him being at Ohio State forever. I, I do see him kind of transferring out of there just with how deep Ohio State's uh, quarterback room already is. But if he's able to really step up and just continue to thrive in Ohio State's offense, I can see him I can see him finding a, a way to, to get some starting time come his junior or senior year. Next, Ohio State added a little bit of depth to that backfield, picking up the 11th best running back in the class of 2023 in Mark Fletcher. This dude, big body. He's a power back. He's definitely one of those guys where, as you can see, it's going to be a long day if you're trying to bring him down solo. This guy, he can move the chains. He's always going to be falling forward. Look at the look at the shiftiness at the line. Hold up a second. He, he gets the ball. A sh shoop, nope. Uh, whoop. Nope. You ain't bringing me down. Nope. Get off me, little boy. You baby. And then and then he's got some he has solid top end speed once you let him once you let him get going a little bit. Mark Fletcher, this dude. Ohio State's been doing a really good job of recruiting running backs. I mean, you guys got CJ Henderson there right now who's balling out. Mark Fletcher, he's gonna be one of those guys where I, I see him probably splitting the, the backfield with probably a little bit more explosive of a running back, but this is definitely a guy who can be a total three down back. And when I say that Ohio State reloaded on the entire offensive side of the ball, I mean, I do literally mean the entire offensive side of the ball. They picked up the third best tight end in the country in Jelani Thurman. Give me that. High pointed real quick. Ohio State, I, I feel like that's the one position where, I mean, they've already they've had such good receiver play that they haven't really needed to have a like top, top, top tier uh, tight end. But picking up a guy like Jelani Thurman, all he's going to do is just consistently make Ohio State's offense that much more deadly. Come down with the one-hander. Hold up a second. Look at the body control. He just says, uh, give me that. Come on. Jelani Thurman is a phenomenal pickup for you guys. Like I said, he like look just look at his arms, bro. This dude's arms like go forever. He's just going to be able to pluck the ball from wherever he's gonna be he's gonna be whoever's Ohio State's quarterback when he's there he's gonna be his best friend because as soon as pressure starts coming around where's Jelani at boom hit him this is a guy who is gonna be a safety valve he's gonna be a ridiculous red zone threat especially if you split him out wide I know Ryan Day's gonna have a bunch of different ways to get to use him but yeah Jelani Thurman third best tight end in the country absolutely phenomenal pickup And then you can run some routes too, hey. Now we should all know that offenses are only as good as the offensive line. And Ohio State, you know, like I said, picked up pieces everywhere. They picked up the fourth best offensive tackle in the country and the number one player in Ohio, showing that they still have great recruiting power in state in Luke Montgomery. This dude, absolute unit. He's moving guys out of the way. Where are you going? Just lock him up. Move him up out the way. I, I, hey, I always love it when my offensive lineman got that little dog in them. Hey. The, uh, the trenches, there's no there's no room for nice guys in the trenches. Look at the hand plays. Look at the footwork. Look at how smooth he gets into his back pedal. Kick step, kick step. Nope, where are you going? Throws him down. Easy. Make that look effortless. This is definitely one of be he's gonna be one of those guys where Paris, when Paris Johnson goes to the NFL this year, he's gonna be one of those guys who's really gonna step in and probably be, probably be your team's starting left tackle. If not next year, then definitely the year after that. Talk your talk, my guy. Hey, I, I like I like his swag. He, he's got he's got that little meme mug in him. And like I said, Ohio State to pick up the number one player in Ohio. I obviously Ohio State does a phenomenal job recruiting all across the state. But to be able to pick the homegrown kids, it, it does show like Ohio State is doing a phenomenal job recruiting. That's why you guys got the fourth best recruiting class in the nation. Like just lock them up. And now we get into the four-headed monster of wide receivers that Ohio State brought in in the class of 2023, starting it off with Bryson Rogers, four-star wide receiver. Ohio State 
ridiculously reloaded at the wide receiver position in the class of 2023. Ohio State has, I don't think any team in the country over the past three years has picked up more quality wide receiver talent than Ohio State has. Alabama has developed a lot of guys. LSU has developed a lot of guys. I mean, look at this route. This is beautiful. This is how you run. This is how you run this route. This is so smooth. Stems to the outside, fakes inside to get across this, to get across this linebacker. Goes back to the outside because he knows he, he now has to get past the safety. Boom! Cuts straight back across. That's a beautiful route. Absolutely phenomenal. And this is the fourth. This is the fourth best receiver you guys picked up, and this is how smooth of route of a route runner that he is. Oh my god. Oh, go to the, oh my god. No, yo, Preston Rogers. This I, I'm, I'm taking a look at the other three guys. This guy. He might be he might be ranked the lowest out of all the receivers you guys picked up. Don't be surprised when he's the guy who starts first out of all out of all the guys that we're about to cover right now. I, I will say it and I will say it again and again and again. Wide receivers who are phenomenal route runners. You don't need to be fast. You don't need to be tall. You don't need to be 6'4. If you can run routes and create separation off of your route running alone, you will be a star at the next level. Again, you don't need to be fast. You just need to be able to run routes. Bryson Rogers is fast and he has some size. This guy is going to be an immediate playmaker for y'all. This he knows exactly what he's doing in the route running side of, of being a wide receiver. Come back. Swoop. Nope. Run, run him over. Just let's go. Find a way to get into the end zone. Next, Ohio State brought in extremely high tier four star guy, Carnell Tate. He used to be a five star recruit, slightly got knocked down a little bit in the recruiting ranking, but he's still a ridiculous talent. He's got size, speed. He's definitely more of an athlete wide receiver. But once again, Ohio State's shown that they know how to develop their players, especially at wide receiver. So Carnell Tate, he's going to be one of those guys that you just got to get the ball in his hands and he's going to make plays. I mean, look at the routes. Get him a ball for you and too easy. Fly, 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 just track the ball. Let's go. You guys then went and picked up Noah Rogers. Again, another high tier four star wide receiver. This guy, the body control. He, to me, he has the most upside out of all of, out of all of the wide receivers. If he is able to look at Bro, every time I see his highlight tape, this dude just be going crazy out here. But this guy, he flat out comes down with the ball. His ability, he, he reminds me a lot of DeAndre Hopkins in that way, where you just throw it to him and he's gonna find a way to come down with the ball. It doesn't matter if he's getting bumped downfield. It doesn't matter if he's got a guy holding draped all over him. He's gonna find a way to get open. And then he's got ridiculous speed. In the open field, he can flat out move. I mean, look at him pull away from everybody. Just get the sliding on him. And last but certainly not least of the four wide receivers you guys picked up is five-star wide receiver Brandon Ennis. This dude, if he finds a way to put it all together, because he's already got pretty much all of it put together. He is so ridiculously explosive. His route running is so crisp. If, if he's just able to translate smoothly at Ohio State, he is going to be your next Jackson Smith and Jibba, Marvin Harrison Jr., a guy who gets playing time early and often and is just going to flat out be a playmaker for y'all. This guy is so ridiculously talented. Lock him up. Lock him up. Again, I've been covering Brandon Ennis for a while now. This guy, especially when you look at him in the seven on 17, where he really gets to show off his route running, this guy just creates separation effortlessly. And then he's so strong. Like I said, ridiculously explosive. He's just able to, he's able to do things that a lot of wide receivers can't. He, he can break routes off that most wide receivers can't. He can separate and pull away. Like he, he is him. So those are all of the offensive weapons that Ohio State is bringing in in the class of 2023. And you guys absolutely restocked and reloaded at every position that you guys need. I would say out of all the guys that we covered, my favorite is Bryson Rogers. I think just with him being the lowest ranked receiver that you guys are bringing in Indy class 2023, but with him being so technically sound, like when I look for wide receivers, 
Bryson Rogers is the exact type of wide receiver that I'm looking for. A quick, speedy wide receiver that I can put in the slot or I can put outside and is a technician when it comes to running routes. Bryson Rogers, he knows how to release off the ball. He knows how to create separation. He, has, he does a phenomenal job of setting guys up. Like He just knows exactly what he wants to do and he does everything that he needs to do on the at, at the wide receiver position. I think once you get him at Ohio State and you just get him just going get that against that competition he's he's in wide receiver rooms with some of the best receivers in the country not just at ohio state he's gonna absolutely thrive there again i think bryson Rodgers, he might be the lowest ranked receiver that you guys brought in don't be surprised when he's the first one making big time plays but i want to hear from y'all comment down below who's your guys favorite offensive pickup in the class 2023 also be sure to comment down below if you guys want to see me do a defensive best players for ohio state also leave this video a like and also hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications if you want to see ohio state bring that chip home this year and with that being said i love and appreciate all y'all and i will catch you guys in the next video ciao